Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you a couple of little tricks. I'm going to be teaching you how to create a watermark image that you can place on your photos. I'm going to be teaching you how to batch process this using Aperture so that you can apply it to multiple photos all in one movement um, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So here we go. First step that we're going to do is we're going to go into iPhoto and we need to organize the images that we're going to be working with here. So what I'm going to do is just take a bunch of my photos. If you've taken our classes before, you've probably seen I own a aerial drone. I love to photograph Cape Cod from. And I'm going to put all of those into a new album. Now you can organize your photos, of course, however you want. So now that I have that, what we're going to need to do is create the watermark image. Now you can do this using multiple programs. You can do this in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, or my personal favorite, you can use Pixelmator. Now some people when they like to do this, they like to uh, just simply create a signature that they put over it. Others will actually put the word copyright. Others will just put a logo. In my case, I'm actually just going to put a logo for this, but the process is the exact same regardless. So when you have your blank canvas, what you're going to need to first make sure you do is that you remove the background. So I can just simply uncheck this, okay? And now if you have a logo, in my case I do, you can just drag and drop that right into your project. Here's mine. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it right in here. Now if your logo is, let's say, a JPEG, see here how it's transparent and we have these little checker boxes in the background? What you would need to do is go through this image and delete any part that is white. You can use the eraser or much easier you can use the magic wand icon which will look for similar colors and select them and uh, so that you can delete it. Once you have your image, let me just kind of fine tune this just a little bit. Okay. You can crop it if you like, just kind of narrow it down. And now what you're going to do, regardless of which program you use, you need to save it as a PNG file. So I'm just going to go to File, Export, PNG, which will preserve the transparency portion of this. I'm going to call this image Watermark and just simply save it to the desktop. Don't need that anymore, so I can delete that project. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the program Aperture uh, if you'd like, we actually have an entire class on Aperture Basics, which are available, of course, on our website at pcclassesonline.com, completely for free, as with all of our classes. So here we have the images that we're going to be working with. You could theoretically do this one at a time, but it's, of course, a lot easier, at least in my opinion, if you batch process this. So you're going to need to highlight and select whatever photos you're working with. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to do Select All which is of course Command A on the Mac. Go to File up here at the top left, Export. The first option under Export is Versions. And now from here I can tell it of course where to go. I'm actually going to create a new folder in my case. I'm going to call it Watermarked Version. And here where it says Export Preset, you're going to want to change that to the final option which is edit which will bring up another menu. From here check the box on the right hand side that says show watermark. Now you can choose to have your watermark either be in the center, lower right, lower left, top right, or top left. Totally up to you. In my case because this is really just a logo I'm actually going to do center. Go here to choose image which will open a finder window and you can just point it to wherever that image may be. And now, if you like, you can choose to or not use scale watermark. I'm actually not going to in this case. Um, I actually would rather it be a little bit larger. Finally, I did skip over this. You can change the opacity of your image. So if you want it to be pretty prevalent, you can up that. Or if you want it to be a very, very subtle presence, you can lower it. I'm going to put it sort of a little bit right here in the middle at 62%. Now simply click OK and finally export versions. And it's going to be doing this process in the background. However, if I actually go into that folder, you'll see them as they start to appear. 
So here, if I open this one, for example, there you go. You have your watermark image in the center of the photo. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you happen to have been watching this video on YouTube, we really do appreciate it if you click that little like button. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all of our videos as they come out. And hopefully you'll also check out our website. Again, we are a completely free public service. Tell your friends. We offer live Mac, PC, iPhone, and iPad classes that anyone in the world can attend from home for free. This is David A. Cox. You all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.